On the next episode of Connecting Columbus, we're at White River Running Company that has a great selection of shoes and even better service. Hey Columbus, I'm Jason Kane here with another episode of Connecting Columbus and I'm on site at White River Running Company with owner Brandy Legg and realtor Tyler Meyer with Wagner Realtors. Uh, Brandy, if you would, give us a little bit of background to how White River got started. Okay, so um, I've always been interested in opening a running store. Um, my background is that my sister owns a running store actually in Florida, so that's how I got started because I would have never got started if it wasn't for her. I used to go down there when I was younger and actually work in her store and I thought it was the coolest thing ever, how you could fit somebody for shoes and help them a tremendous amount. So that's how I got started. I thought about it for about five years and then actually took the leap because okay. I was an x-ray tech before we moved here. Okay. Um, so now this is what I do full time. Um, we moved here about nine years ago to start the store. My husband's a teacher at Northside and Tyler was the first friend I met because he sold us our house. Um, so yeah, that's how we got started. So when somebody comes into the store, what's the best way for them to get started in their journey running? Is it a gait analysis or what do you do? Yeah, so um, picking a comfortable shoe is definitely the most important um, tool somebody needs as a runner or walker. Um, so if you come in the store, what we would do is we would fit you for shoes. Um, we do a fitting process. We'll have you um, take your shoes off, measure your feet, watch you walk back and forth and do a few flexibility tests. Make sure um, that we know if you are someone who needs more support or someone who needs a neutral shoe, the shape of your foot, the way your ankles move, all of that matters in determining what shoe we would put you in. Um, and then we can go from there. We also ask you if you've had any injuries. Um, that makes a difference in the type of shoe we put you in. Um, and then what you plan on using it for. Tell us a little bit about, you've got a running section of the avid runners that come in here and consistently buy shoes, but there is another section that you mentioned, and these folks out there may not even know that this is part of your business, that you have a big client base. Yeah, so one of the biggest misconceptions conceptions is that we are just a running store. So we're more so much more than that because we fit people for shoes who stand on concrete all day. Um, we fit people for shoes we get a lot of referrals from orthotics or podiatrists for fitting with orthotics. So all of that um, is something that we do um, as well. So it's definitely not just runners. It's more so walkers, people who need a good shoe for work. Okay. So we fit anybody who needs shoes. So what's the best reason to come into the store and find a shoe versus buying it on one of the big box online websites? Okay, so um, it's really important to come here and get fitted for shoes because we're all about customer service. So we really try hard to make sure that we are getting the right shoe for you. We fit you for shoes, so you can't get that online. Um, there's some like questions you can fill out online, but it definitely doesn't give you the full effect. They can't watch you walk make sure we're getting the right shoe for you based on the shape and the way your foot moves. Um, so I think that's why it's really important to come into a store rather than um, just shopping online. And also within the brands we carry, I wear anywhere from an eight and a half to a nine and a half. So even within the same brand, you could be a different size. So that's really important as well because sizing is very important when picking out a running shoe. And if you get a shoe and you decide after a run or two it's not for you, do you have an option to exchange that or return that? Yeah, so we do have a 30-day exchange policy. Um, we do let you run in the shoes outside or wear them to work, however you plan on normally using them. Um, and then just keep your box and within 30 days, if you're like, these are hurting my feet or they're just not as comfortable as I thought, um, you could bring them back and we would do an exchange. So we can either exchange it for a different shoe or you would get store credit and that store credit doesn't expire so you could use it at any time. Awesome. I noticed the, the chalkboard over here with a lot of local events and things that you guys mm -hmm. do within the community. Touch a little bit about what you guys do on a regular basis and maybe yeah. even if you have something upcoming in the near future that people might want to mark on their calendars. Okay, so um, every single Thursday we have a group run. It starts from the store at six. You don't have to do anything to come. Like you don't have to sign up in advance. You just show up at six. Um, we do take attendance each time because each person, each time you come, you'll get a chance to win a free pair of shoes at the end of the year. So we have oh, a drawing okay. at the end of the year 
So we do um, have you sign up when you come. It's definitely any pace, any age is welcome to come to those. And then we also try to work with um, other local businesses within our events. So we just had a really big ladies night and we had a bunch of raffle prizes from other lo local businesses. Okay. Um, we'll do um, some in-store like workouts after or before our group runs. So we're gonna work with Pure Bar um, here coming up. We've worked with The Hive, we work with Flourish, we work with a lot of local okay. businesses. So Brandon, what is the best way for folks in the community to reach out or find you guys or, or make a connection? Yeah, um, you could just stop in. Um, we did move locations recently. Well, it's been about seven months now. We are on National Road now. Um, we are next to the El Nepal, which used to be the Sirloin Stockade, and we are right next to Watts Family Dentistry. So we're right here in this row of brick buildings, right off of 31. We do a parking lot now, so that's been a big help. So it's really easy to get to us. Um, or you can follow us on social media. We do have a website. It's more of just information based. And then um, we post all of our events and everything that we have going on on our Facebook and Instagram. So Tyler's actually got a giveaway for us so that he'll tell you a little bit about what it is and how to enter to win. So we're gonna do a $100 gift card giveaway. You can like the video, share the video, or tag any of your friends that you think would be interested in winning this gift card. Who doesn't love free stuff? So let's see as much engagement as we can. Right, so then we'll come back guys live, Facebook Live, and we'll announce the winner once we get all of the, the entries put together. Um, again, I'm Jason Kane with Connecting Columbus here on site with Brandy Leg and White River Running Company and Tyler Meyer with Dean Wagner Realtors. We'll catch you next time.